outbound for a much more precise delivery. A hundred meter concrete super tank with a high stack intensity. A five horsepower paddy wheel is kept running 24 7. Demand feeders are used for feeding tilapia. It delivers the feeds to continuous trickles of a small amount of feeds due to the painting like movement created by the water carbon. Circular tanks use intensive tilapia farming are self-cleaning. Passing of the accumulated waste in the center of the tank should be done regularly to maintain the healthiness of the water suitable for growing tilapia. can supply the live market and can supply the needed demand of the market today. After all the money and time is spent in growing tilapia to market size, a very efficient breeding and harvesting system. That minimizes stress and will not damage the scarce and mucus of tilapia should be taken in serious consideration. Every tilapia farm selling their produce live to the end consumers.
morning loading is done since water temperature is lower and favorable to fish. Transporting your produce to outlet can be extremely stressful. Water temperature, dissolved oxygen, and ionized ammonia, and other ways that may contaminate and affect the quality of water inside your transport tanks should be always monitored along the way. Delivery of light tilapia to outlet is twice a week. You must have a very good transport system in your delivery. system of live market in the United States is an aquarium and the outlet only orders the amount needed to be consumed three to four days. The total health, wholesome appearance and survivability of tilapia inside the aquarium of the outlet where they display your produce indicates its desirability to the end consumers. States market has the most demanding consumer. They want quality produce, tastier and safer fish to eat. The price they're willing to pay to ensure what they're eating is beneficial to their health and well-being.